morning ladies and gents also good morning teacher thanks for watching this video well today I'm going to talk about the history of the internet everyone uses the internet I use it my parents use it also the teacher uses the internet well but did you ever thought who is the who is the owner of the internet who created the internet well today I'm going to talk about the history of the internet also in my group I have three students with me I have Brittany Ford, Selena Perre, and also me, Silkman. Today, I'm going to talk about what's the internet, who are the fathers of the internet, what is ARPANET. Yes, everyone, I'm going to bring you back to history. And why is called the internet, how the internet also works, the advantage and the disadvantage of the internet, and the big question, what is going to happen when the internet shuts down? Well, first of all, what is the internet? The internet is a global network of billions of computers. Yes, it's not one or two computers, but billions of computers. You can do everything with the internet. You can go on YouTube, you can contact everyone, you can call, video call something. I'm from Suriname, but I can call my best friend from China. His name is Wu Xiuo. Yeah, <laughs> well, next. <clears throat> the fathers of the internet. These two are the fathers of the internet. These two created the internet. His name is Robert Bob Ken, and his is Vincent Sir. Yes. Well, who owns the internet is also a big question. Who owns the internet? Well, I don't own it. Not a group. Not a group of company or another group of bills of people own it. Not even a company owns the internet. No one owns the internet. Well, like I said, I'm going to bring you back to history. What is ARPANET? ARPANET is not even the full name. The full name is the uh, Advanced Research Project Agency Network. This thing was, was used by the government to contact other people about the war, if there's going to be a war or something like that. Well, okay. Uh, why is it called Internet? Well, the, also, uh, the full name isn't internet, the full name is Intercommunication Network. Here I have a picture of Mr. Louis Pauzet. He was a French engineer and wanted to name the internet the Cottonet. But no one agreed, everyone disliked the name. Well, that was everything of me, what uh, of mine. Well, I'm going to call my colleague Mrs. Brittany Ford and she's going to tell you more about the internet and stay tuned, tuned guys because your mind is going to be blown. Thank you for your attention. Well, see you soon. Good morning teacher, how are you? Today I want to talk about how the internet works. The global computer network called the internet is part of everyday life at home and at school. But have you ever wondered how does the internet work? Most of us know how to use the internet without actually understanding how it really works and how information moves around the internet. Let's learn begin to understand the details of this amazing data. The internet is a wire actually buried in the ground. The internet is for back on the computer so they can send and receive the data and allows the computers to share information. The internet allows the computers to talk to one. Think of the internet as a conversation between computers or mobile phones. There are protocols or rules for speaking and listening. And the protocols make it possible for us to communicate and it makes it possible for the computers to communicate. You must ask yourself what a protocol is. A protocol is of rules and guidelines for communicating data. Rules are defined of each step and do and plus during communication between two or more computers. Networks have to follow these rules to successfully transmit data. And another question, why do we need protocols? Network protocols are needed because it includes machines for devices to identify and make connections with each other. So, how exactly does the internet work? The internet protocol is that each computer has an IP address, messenger are sent from one computer to another. The total information between IP addresses are broken up into smaller pieces called packets. So here we have a picture of how the internet works. As you can see, there are two computers you have a mobile for mobile phones so let me tell you the data is put into smaller pieces called packets that travel through multiple network paths the data traffic is managed via routers and here I have a picture of a router it is that 
a Wi-Fi box. A router is a networking device that forwards data. So this is how the internet works. It's pretty simple actually, but it gets more complicated when more use are added to the system. So the internet is worldwide, but not every country has the same internet speed. You have the country with the fast internet speed and the country with the slowest internet speed. And the country with the fast internet speed are South Korea, Hong Kong, Switzerland, Japan, Netherlands, Sweden, Latvia, Ireland, Republic, Romania, and, and the United States. These are the countries with the fast internet speed. And the country with the slowest internet speed are Paraguay, Benin, Congo, Venezuela, Syria, Arab Republic, Fantewa, Somalia, Congo, Democratic Republic of the Burka Faso, Gibbon, and Yemen. And these are the countries with the slowest internet speed. So there is one more country, people, that has the slowest internet speed, and that country is namely Suriname. Yes, people, I know you're all disappointed. Even the teacher wasn't disappointed. It's the facts. The Suriname has one of the slowest internet speeds. The internet connection system is one of the slowest connections in the world, with an average speed of 7.50 megabytes. Suriname is listed worldwide at the 134th place in total of 135 countries removed. So now I'm going to call the last student, namely Selena Farway. And she's going to tell you more about the internet. Enjoy and good afternoon, teacher. Today I will talk about the advantage and the disadvantage of the internet. People use the internet for information to know much more about something, for entertainment, to make money, for school to, to do their schoolwork, for work, for market to sell and promote their products and for, for relationships to date online and for communication. As you can see, we got some pictures here. On the first picture, someone is sitting on the toilet and she needed some toilet paper because there isn't toilet paper in the toilet. So she, she, she is sitting there and yelling like, hey, can you bring me some toilet paper, please? And the person will bring it for her. But nowadays, the internet make, makes it so simple for us. You can just sit on the toilet with your phone and you can text someone who you're there with and tell the person to bring toilet paper for you. On the second picture, someone is trying to cook a meal. But she can make it properly. So she is going on Google and she is researching how to make it. And, and the, at the third picture, when you want to promote or sell something, you don't have to write or anything else. You just can write it on your phone and send it for whoever, whoever you want. Okay, next question is, what is cybercrime? Cybercrime is a crime that involves a network or a computer. Cybercrime can it can often cyber can, can be committed against individuals or groups of ind individuals with criminal motive to harm the feeling of the victim intentionally directly or indirectly by using modern telecom telecommunication such as the internet and mobile phones. The types of cyber crime got online fraud. Online fraud is fraud in general term used to get important information or data. In, it intends to deceive a person in order to, to gain important information. Then we got hacking. Hacking involves the entire computer, a network or website. It also aims to access import, important information or important data. Cyber bullying. What is cyberbullying? Cyberbullying is one of the most important viruses, important crimes committed in the entire world. It is a form 
of crime. It is a form of bullying carried over to the internet. What is cyber stalking? Cyber stalking is when someone someone follows you online and is when someone follows you in line and mostly. The stalker will virtually follow the victim including his or her information. Most of the stalkers are women or children being followed by men. And here's the biggest question. What will happen if the internet shuts down? If the entire internet shuts down? People would lose their minds. And people would die. People would get crazy. Everything could happen because internet is something big for some people. Not for me. But I need it. But if the internet shuts down, I won't die. Nothing will happen to me. It's just what it is. So, if the entire internet shuts down, that could happen. But I don't think that it's, it's possible, but I don't think that it could gone so far. So, thank you for watching. People, we came to the end of this video and I hope you have enjoyed and learned so much about the internet. Well, we have something important to tell you. Stay home. Stay safe. Because the internet, internet is here. here.